Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to Episode 3 in The Adventures of Denisha. We've just completed the intro, and so now we're prepared to begin the quest in Selendim. So we're going to run over here. Swilad Melon. And for completing the intro, you do get the Tokens of Salutation, which can then be bartered Greetings, friend. for How different items. Help? The first item I always grab is the Novice's Mark because it gives us a plus 10% run speed. Well, actually, it gives us a 5% run com out of combat run speed um, up through 15th level. So let's go ahead and equip that. So we'll move a little bit faster. And then I usually go ahead and grab one each of the lesser essences and salves. So basically, we have a little bit more to to buy or to heal our wounds. So let's grab the you first. You service to me. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab the first quest, and this is going to be in defense of the forest, and we need to go out and defeat veil flies. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. And now let's run over here and speak to Kavdor. The shadow is on my side. Cardivar. Cardivar. Okay. Might you spare a moment of your time? Okay, Averthal. Okay, I've heard that you are well traveled. Perhaps you have seen my son Averthal on your journeys. I received a message from him saying that he was coming from Dulanon to visit, but he has not arrived yet. That is most unlike him. In his journeys, he often speaks of the travelers along the road and visits the Vale of Nenhileth with a friend of his, a dwarf named Athal. Athal watches the road and helps the few dwarf travelers who come to Selendim. Perhaps Avernal, Averthal is speaking to him now and has simply forgotten the time. Would you seek him? Okay, we will definitely do that. And since Denisha is from Dolanem, or Dolanon, um, she probably is aware of Averthal. So we will go ahead and consider doing that. And there should be another quest at the top of the hill. Ah, uh, yes. May Govanan, might you spare a moment of your time? Okay. We need to defeat foul creatures in Tham Galar. So we can certainly do that while we're out. Okay, let's go take a look at beating up some veil flies. Oh, and one thing we can do is Denisha does have a horse because I purchased the Helm's Deep Pack or the Help Team's extension and so she gets the Helm Deep's horse and I also purchased a starter pack so she gets the riding skills so she actually has a horse at seventh level I just want to take a moment to scan Selendim because I think it's gorgeous at night. In fact, let's turn that off. And bring her up. And now you can really see it. You can see the docks way down there. Anyway, I think it's pretty. So let's continue on. 
Ah, our first veil fly. And we got some mail, so we have a deed bestowed. So we continue on. There's another veil fly. Ah, there we go. Now eventually, champions get a, uh, the ability to use a bow, so we could actually attract someone being able to do that. Um, in some rare cases, you can actually go through and defeat a creature using just the bow if it's far enough away, but that's really not one of the primary weapons of a champion. Yeah, for me, one of the advantages of having the bow is to just attract someone at a distance and have them come up to attack you. Okay, so that's all the Veil Flies that we're supposed to kill. However, experience is experience. Okay, let's go ahead and mount up. Oh, cool. Alright. And let's go up and see if Everthrall as is at the uh, the elf camp. And there's some other quests up here for us. your service and your families. Nay, I am still here waiting for Averthal. He requested I meet him here at the Vale of Ninhileth and has yet to arrive. I am sorry that I cannot be of more help. Come and well, stay that's a moment, friend. unfortunate. It's not like Averthal to be late, at least not without sending word, nor to put aside his usual habits. Still, he has spent much time in the contemplation in recent days. Okay, so we need to search for Avatharal or his pack. We can do that. And let's see what this elf would like. Megovanen. Oh good, okay. So in defense of the forest. I'm going to go ahead and take the knife, equip that, might you spare a moment of your time? Okay. Your arrival heralds a time of hope. We have yet to discern what caused the wolves to empty into this valley. Perhaps with your assistance we will soon learn the reasons behind the invasion. Okay, so we need to go over here and help Might these you two. Spare a moment of your time? Okay. Our efforts here are to recover the land from this new threat. That is clear. We are also here on the behest of our kinsmen. In Selendim, there is a vendor who wants only to make a final offering to store enough wine to survive our journey to the west. I have offered to recover enough wood to build such a t cask. Okay, so we need to go ahead and and recover wood. Will you lend me your ear? I overheard your discussion with 
over us and hope that you will be willing to assist us. This vale was once a place of inspiring beauty where we could come and commune with nature. It has fallen far from those days since the incursion of these wolves. Enter the valley and destroy the wolves to ensure the future of the valley. Return to me when you have completed this task and you will have earned my favor. Okay, so we have to also hunt down and defeat some wolves. So we can certainly do that. And actually, this is a very good place to work on your wolf slayer deeds and also to get light leathers if you're a, uh, a forester or a, uh, a tailor. Guess we should start checking out the wood. Oh good, we got a good piece of timber. We got a quest item. Looking closely at this crude collar, you can see that this is not the handiwork of elves or dwarves. Okay, so we want to bring that to Overlust. And here is our Wolf Slayer deed, which is good. Because Denisha is definitely going to want to work on her virtues. behind us. I knew there was some wood somewhere around here. Okay, I want to try something. Let's attract that wolf. Run around. Grab that one. And this one. Still can't get enough fervor to be able to generate the blade storm. Oh well. Oh, more wood. Uh, we'll get the wolf in a minute. Come on, wolf. Just can't build enough fervor. Oh well. 
Unless we're able to take them all out, that's important. There we go. And she made level. Excellent. And I just realized we need to go through and lock the quick slots. Okay, now let's go back and grab the wood. Okay, and that was the last piece, so now we can run over here and turn everything in. Oh, what the heck, while we're here, it goes towards our Slayer Deed. Come back here. How can I be of service? Okay, so we defeated the wolves. How can I be of service? And we brought him the wood. Stay a moment. Deliver the wood to Brigadur in Selendim. We can do that. Okay, we earned their trust. Megovanen. Oh, the collar. I know this handiwork. It's the handiwork of goblins. We must inform the others of Selendim. If the goblins have grown this aggressive, then we must do what we can to drive them back from our homes. Might you spare a moment of your time? A word of warning. We cannot let another moment pass without informing others of the arrival of the goblins. Perhaps Lord Doranger's protection is weakening if we make our way to the shores to depart, or perhaps the enemy grows stronger faster than we expect. Regardless, Denisha, we must send word back to Selendim and my superior there. Quickly, return to Leonin, the Glade Watcher, at Selendim and tell him what you have found. You will find him at the docks in Selendim, northwest of this vale. Okay, we will certainly do that. How can I be of service? Okay. And naturally, I will also pick the helm. There we go. All right, well, we have completed the quest in Neen Hela. So let's return to Selendim. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. We have not found Averthrall's pack. I'm glad I remembered that. Oh wow, I have never noticed there's a ruin. There's something at the top of that mountain directly in front of us, all the way in the back. That is so cool. I All the times I've been here, I've never noticed that before. Well, we should go ahead and get off our horse. Because we're probably going to run into wolves.
the body of a dead goblin and Aberthal's pack. Now the advantage of pulling the wolves, at least in my mind, is it doesn't take that much longer to kill them using the, uh, the area effects. There we go. Greetings, traveler. This is Averthal's pack. I am certain. I fear that something untoward has befallen my friend. Please take this to Karvdarvar and tell him that I will do whatever I can to help my friend, his son. Okay, we will certainly do that. Okay, the Glade Watcher. Greetings to you. This discovery is worrisome. I will see that this information is passed along to Lord Doringor at Dolanon. Okay. The sorrows of the Eldar are never ending. This is Averthal's satchel. I am certain of it. Do you see this pattern on the side? Averthal stitched that himself long ago. You bring me fell tidings, Denisha. You are sure that there were no other signs of Averthal? Some sign that my son might have been hiding nearby, safe from wolves and other dangers, but too far away to reclaim his satchel? Nay, that is a weak hope, and I must not trust it. Some foe has brought down my son, my Averthal. That is the only answer. Will you hear my sorrows? The goblins have slain my son, Denisha, and for that we will sweep them from Arid Luin. No goblin will take as much as three steps into these lands before we are there to greet him with a sword blade or an arrowhead. Go forth and slay goblins wherever you find them, and cry aloud the name Averthal. I would have the foul creatures known whose damned has come whose doom has come upon them. Okay. Well, we will certainly do that, and so let's continue. We need to deliver the wood, and that's up in the crafting area. Oh, and there looks like there's a quest here. Might you spare a moment of your time? Welcome to Fafalon, Denisha. You can see the harbor city of Selendim up the hill to the southeast and the refuge of Dillanon is further to the north. Well, she, she would actually know all of that. Um, Guadalath will be pleased to help you learn how to begin your journey as a craftsman. 
Well, I'm going to accept this, but for right now, considering she has a kinship to back her up, even though she hasn't joined it yet, I don't think I'm going to have Denisha actually pick up a craft. Um, because for one thing, I don't really want to take the time during our adventures to uh, to grab the crafting hey, stuff. And well met. So we'll just take her money. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Greetings to you. Okay, so we've delivered the wood. Greetings, friend. Will you lend me your ear? And now he would like us to deliver the wine cast to Bethelwyn outside La, La Mal's Vineyard, which we can certainly do that. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because we're almost on our 30 minute limit. Um, so I certainly hope you enjoyed this adventure. Uh, if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.